Hi, everybody, this is Miyuki, and for let's play the Erdrick Trilogy, Dragon Warrior. How's it? So, I know I, uh, I said that I'd head back to Tantacle, but there is one more place we need to explore before heading to Tantacle. No, just, just for shits and grins. Ow. A magician. Pendulate, this guy is not. <laughs> hey, a set of stairs. In the middle of the world map. Yeah. Let's check it out. Okay. So I guess we need this uh, harp. A silver harp. The Dragon Lord causes demons by use of a harp. What? Oh shit, skeleton! Okay, um, this guy will hit us really, really, really hard, as you see there. Um, your basic strategy is use hurt and hope and pray this guy dies soon. Yeah, you really don't need to be taking the time uh, to attack physically because there's still the possibility that you will miss. And if that happens, if you miss on even one attack, chances are you are screwed. Okay, so let's go ahead and heal, head, head back. That was terrible. I had not anticipated running into a skeleton this soon. Ugh. And we have a magician. Ow. And a scorpion! Oh, we're de dealing decent damage to the fucker! I just wish it died! Come back here, rest, and then move on to Tantagal! Ali Ali Axon free! <laughs> now by the way, in case you're all wondering, the, the reason we're going to Tentacle isn't necessarily a big reason, but it will definitely come in handy. You're kidding. It will definitely come in handy. Especially considering our financial goals. If you get my drift. Yeah, we need about 5,000 gold in order to max out our equipment, which is, which would be a very, very good thing right about now. The problem is, the problem magic uh, money is.
Are we there yet? Are you fucking kidding? You missed a slime of all things. A fucking red slime. Should be able to take it out in one shot and you missed. Fucker. Alright, back at Tantagol. While we're here, go ahead and heal up. How many... Okay, we need three more hit points. Sweet. Now, I would actually highly recommend, uh, for those of you that are going to be going out grinding, which we will be very, very soon, you talk to this guy and... 124, that's it? And save. A lot. The reason you want to uh, find out exactly how much you have to go for a level is because you want to know it, you want to know how much grinding to do. We need 124 experience. That shouldn't be a problem. Um, especially considering where we're going to be grinding. Um, yeah, we're going back to, I think it's call. But anyway, um, we're, we're, we're going to be grinding there for, uh, for the uh, next level. And, and we're going back to go to see exactly how much we have to go for level 8. Um, also, what it does is, if something goes wrong, you at least have that file. This is not a game where you, you can get away with not saving too much. Not by a long shot. You have to save frequently here. Because of how much, gr uh, how much grinding you have to do, it's easy to get lost in what you're doing. And as a result, um, you, you can easily die and not even know what hit you. Especially if we're gonna deal fours and fives with a copper sword. It'd be nice if we could do more damage. Oh, and by the way, I know that normally I would say go back to Tantagal to heal, but considering this is level grinding and not gold farming, I would actually recommend if you need to, go back to town and use the inn. There's no point in doing grinding if you, uh, there's no point in grinding if you're going across the world map just to reach some place for a free inn. Now, if you stick around here, you're, you're gonna meet up with these magic drakeys, uh, magicians, few scorpions, and the occasional ghost, but you shouldn't run into any uh, any skeletons, which would be a really good thing considering using skeletons to grind right now would not be a very good idea. It wouldn't be a very good idea at all. So, again, you really want to grind up to about level, uh, you do want to grind up to level 7 and see where you are financially. If you're set enough to pick up a new weapon, uh, go ahead and, and quit grinding, go back, pick up, uh, pick up the next weapon upgrade because off defensively right now, we're set, but offensively not so much. Now, if you have a defensive name, which means you're going to have a higher than average agility, you want to sacrifice your offense for defense because Again, of these damn skeletons. They will hit you hard. They will hit you very hard. Now, a lot of people would actually say sacri uh, sacrifice defense for offense in this game. Um, but here's the problem with that. Yes, you're going to run into a lot, of, uh, a lot of monsters that will hit you magically. But you're also going to run into even more that will hit you physically. Okay, so... For a name like uh, for a name like ours, which is more defensive, we do want to go defense first. 
which really sucks because our next defensive upgrade is at 900 gold pieces. Great. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that on my own time. I know this is a short episode, but you know what? What can you do? Fetch his life with a grinding game like Dragon Warrior. So I'm gonna go ahead and grind up to about, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and grind up to level seven. So now I'm gonna go ahead and call it an episode. I will see you all on either side. Hasta lasagna.